from In Living Color to Academy Award winner Jamie Foxx, the star of many talents. Before he became an Academy Award-winning actor, Jamie Foxx began his career in sketch comedy. At a young age, Foxx picked up the piano, and he later led the choir at the New Hope Baptist Church in Terrell, Texas, where he was raised. He was an outstanding football and basketball player in his adolescence before deciding to attend United States International University in California to study musical and performing arts composition. At an open mic night in 1989, Fox performed his first stand-up routine on the strength of a bet. A comedy series called In Living Color, which also starred Jim Carrey, Kim and Damon Wayans, and David Allen Grier, welcomed him to its cast two years later. In addition to Jennifer Lopez and Carrie Ann and Abba, the Fly Girls dance group appeared on the program. Fox's Emmy-winning television series audition took place while Lopez was there. We were both new to the show, so it was interesting. In 2020, he recalled telling her, Hey, I have a girlfriend, I'm not hitting on you, but you're the most beautiful person I've ever seen. But because we were the show's newbies, we grew close. From season 3 through season 5, Fox stayed on in living color until getting his own sitcom, The Jamie Foxx Show. The WB program, which aired from 1996 to 2001, was co-created by him. While working together on his sitcom, the Just Mercy actor grew close to his co-star Garcelle Bovis, but the two never went beyond being friends. Fox hinted during a 2020 interview on the podcast Going to Bed with Garcelle that I think me and you should have been together. Damn, I'm like every time I see you with someone, damn. I misjudged. I therefore give each man an extremely disgusting glance. Laughing at the revelation, Bovis made fun of it by saying, I feel it, and they feel it. Fox has a few illicit relationships to his credit over the years, but he and the Bravo actress kept their connection entirely platonic. With his ex-girlfriend Connie Klein, he had a daughter named Kareen in 1994, and with his ex-girlfriend Kristen, he had a daughter named Ain Lies in 2008. The singer of Just Like Me has never been married. Us Weekly reported in March 2015 that Fox and Holmes had been dating for two years. The pair maintained their relationship under wraps for six years before calling it quits. In August 2019, a source exclusively revealed to us that it was Holmes who ended the engagement after realizing their lives were different. In the years following his breakup from Holmes, the Baby Driver star chose to remain silent about his love life in favor of giving his children the attention they needed. Kareen and her family requested prayers in April 2023 after Fox experienced an unspecified medical problem. The Beat Shazam host returned to social media one month later. Thank you for the love, on Instagram, he posted in May 2023. Feeling fortunate.